How do we invent ecological societies when we have no model to follow? What does Africa know that we don't know? This is the oldest inhabited continent, and Africans has always been here. And before Europeans came in, this was the place that had some of the greatest biodiversity. Well, I guess uh, for to start, first of course, uh, would welcome everyone. We, we kind of like using the word convention. I don't know exactly whether <laughs> it's just a nice big name for just a gathering of, uh, of like-minded individuals. It, it ends up being more conversations about uh, a long journey that we've had. Yeah, I think in some ways, we could say this began when I first met Obi in 1999, maybe on a bus to Mount Kenya. And Obi and I were part of a project called Kenya Scenarios, where we were trying to imagine the future of Kenya. Out of that Kenya project, uh, the man who hired me, Arthur Mulero, then said, let's do the same thing in Tanzania. And in Tanzania, I worked with Majuma Masaigama, who is also here. I then had this experience of working in this region for eight years, but always thinking about what's the future. And I started writing a book on how do we invent ecological societies when we have no model to follow. We should start finding a way to learn from each other how to invent the foundations of an ecological society. And Obi, in his infinite, infinite wisdom, said, you cannot do this in the abstract. You have to do it with real things. You have to show. We have to have learning sites where people can demonstrate what's possible. And, and that others can come in and learn from your learning sites. And in 2009, we decided we needed to have an invention convention. And um, we didn't have any money, so I think we all paid for it ourselves. And Majuma hosted us in her compound, and everybody spoke about why this experiment was important. So that has been the kind of spirit that has guided the way that we've operated. I think what's, um, uh, what, what's important for people to understand is that fundamental to this collaboration was collaborative learning mm -hmm. and the idea that um, there was knowledge in what we were calling the North and there was knowledge in what was in the South. And the problem being that there is not enough exchange of knowledge, information, and discussion between the North and the South. Most of the big challenges we haven't come close to cracking, but they're still there and we're still interested in them. We'll take them on at some point. Uh, this is me, then you have Puna Africana. happening now we do what we give thanks to Gaia